G'day everyone, welcome back. Uh, yeah, welcome if it's your, your first time. Uh, yeah, happy Australia Day, 26th of January. So, uh, yeah, pretty cruisy sort of day today. Uh, guys aren't working, being a public holiday. So, uh, just come up to have a look around the rice and make sure it's the water's doing what it's supposed to. Uh, for some reason, the we Tony started the pivot on the loosen yesterday and it's stopped so uh, not too sure we didn't actually have water running into the dam but uh, yeah not too sure what the go is whether we're uh, a bit light on for water so we'll get up here and have a look and I thought there I thought there would have been enough actually to do what we were going to do we were just putting 20 mil on so and it's done about oh, it hasn't done quite a bit over halfway I suppose and it stopped so whether it's just a, it's had a hiccup somewhere or hang on getting into a bit of a muddy spot and these new fancy vehicles want to have uh, traction control and slip control and cross nose what everything ever else and when you get in a bit of a slippery situation and put your foot down everything just stops so you've got to turn all that crap off so anyway as you have heard me uh, comment about before or just few of my um, getting bogged escapades uh, anyway uh, so yeah, no, uh, not heaps happening today. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to check this rice and make sure it's um, going all right. I haven't looked at the water on it for a couple of days, but first glance it looks all right. And yeah, we'll just see what's going on this pivot and we might have to prime it up and start it again. But uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. So that'll be a bit of the problem. We're sort of out of water. Uh, anyway, we'll uh, open the valve here and uh, the rice is, it's probably got enough water on it. So we'll, yeah, I'll start the pump down on the on the dam below the corn, and and yeah, we'll get a probably if yeah pump today. We might start the pivot again tomorrow or something. We'll get a bit of water back in this dam, and and uh, I should have brought my gum boots because I'm not going to be able to get out here. I don't think. Hang on. Well, I might not be able to hang on, talk to you, and get out there and turn that tap round. Hang on. Uh, what a toy. We've got to go that way. So I've just got a butterfly valve down in the ground here um, on the end of the pipe and just got this rise that I'll be able to open and close it with a little worm drive pulley here. Uh, I'll have to push it down, hang on. Uh, so just been down and fueled the pump up again. Uh, yeah, so we're making pretty good headway. I don't know what to, it was sort of midday. What are we up to now? We are. Uh, watch for about seven o'clock so we've been running about oh, about six hours I suppose so we have put a fair bit of water in the dam so um, yeah this next tank full <coughs> um, yeah I'll we'll probably probably I'll just let it run out tonight and then yeah we'll start the irrigator again in the morning and if there's if there's any water left in the dam we'll have enough now to, to finish the circle anyhow um, probably with what's here uh, but yeah, it can still, it'll still come up, you know, another, not quite a metre, something like that, three foot, depending on whether you're metric or imperial. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, we'll uh, see what it looks like in the morning. Morning! I hope those of you in Australia didn't overindulge yesterday and uh, woke up with a small head, with a sore head this morning. So pretty casual here, a couple of beers last night and uh, that was about it so anyway uh, just getting this gonna get this irrigator going or try and get it going um, fingers crossed that the pump will prime up all right sorry this paddock's a bit rough uh, yeah fingers crossed the pump will prime up all right I'll just come out of here to the, the irrigator itself and start the motor here first that's sort of the, the startup process we're gonna start the motor here in the middle it's got a, a valve that uh, is opens and closes as to whether the motor's running and that lets the water come through to the irrigator so uh, the, the, pump, the actual pump won't well, well it'll keep shutting off because it'll get high pressure because the valves um, the valves not open um, yeah here out in the middle so that's sort of how it's the safety valve here Hang on. yeah it's just that that guy there um, so yeah it opens and closes when the motor's running yeah so and then when you know we've got the box here we can as i've mentioned earlier we can 
control it off our, off my phone. So if I want to stop the irrigator, it basically sends a message to here. Um, that yeah sends a message to this yellow box here that's got all the, the computer stuff in it. I'll just wander around. Let's check for danger noodles because there's just as likely to be one here on the concrete. Um, Uh, yeah, so it, it basically sends a stop message to here or we can you know change the direction or how much rain we, or how much water we're applying um, Yeah through this so we've got to have them turned off to start it So we'll fire this motor up and uh, yeah, then go and see where the pump will prime Around the middle does is drives the hydraulics that makes the pivot walk. It doesn't actually pump any water So it's just got a hydraulic tank there and a, a big hydraulic pump yeah, that's all its sole purpose is, is to, to make the irrigator walk. So, um, some of them, they're all different, but yeah, that's generally this, this style where it's a fixed, fixed centre. Um, yeah, if it was a, a lateral that walked along the channel and the, the pump and everything would be mounted on the, on the, the centre part of it. Um, but yeah, this guy, obviously we've got a pipeline across the dam, but yeah, all that motor does is just, yeah, operates the whole, pumps the oil to the the wheel motors on, on each tower. We'll see how we're gonna go. Yeah, if you've been watching on for, for a fair while, we've been having trouble getting this pump to prime. We've actually had to, we've been bringing the fire unit up um, and to fill a pipe full of water. But judging by the bend in it, that pipe's full of water already. We actually pulled all this out and we, we put a, a non-return valve, butterfly valve down the bottom there, about there. Um, and that was supposed to stop this, but looking out, well, just tapping on that, it's full of water. So I'm hoping I can just use the hand pump here and everything will go to plan. Um, yeah, so little John Deere four cylinder motor up here. Um, again, just make sure there's no danger noodles. Uh, yeah, we'll give this thing a pump and we'll see how we go. What I'm thinking, I'm just going to pull the bottom bowl off this um, hand prime. I actually think the bladder in here might be stuffed, um, which isn't helping us prime. So worst case scenario, I'll go and get the fire unit in a minute and to get it going. But I just want to pull the bottom off this and just see what's going on. Um, yeah, whether it's, there is something internally that's not quite right because there doesn't seem to be a lot of even when I turn the tap off, um, like I shouldn't be able to pump that. So I'm half thinking that the the rubber in there might be split or something like that. So we'll get it apart and we'll have a look.
that won't be helping us at all. So, um, yeah, don't know. It hasn't actually, probably hasn't got a hole right. Oh, it does. There you go. It's got a hole right through it. There's my finger. <laughs> so, that ain't going to help us prime anything. Uh, so, yeah, I'll just go out for this time being. I might, uh, what can we do here? Yeah, I can actually pull that off. So, I might pull it off now while we're going. I'm just going to pull that little clip out, and, which I can do while I'm talking to you. That's all right. Um, so yeah, we'll just in case of getting a, we'll get another rubber and that'll help. But um, yeah, I'll just duck home and get the fire unit and yeah, jam a bit of water into it. What we are thinking about doing, we do have pressure with some troughs here. Um, that'll be 100 metres away. So what we're thinking, we might actually trench a pipe um, to here and then we can have, if we do have trouble priming it or something, we've just got, um, you know, pressured water from the, the essentially the house at the pump that that fills the troughs um, and then yeah we don't haven't got to drag the fire unit or fire uh, units up here all the time if we can get it out so anyway that's all right we'll uh, go and grab it and hopefully it won't take much to prime it up back uh, so all we do is we just hook the hose straight onto the side of the pump there we've got a fitting there with a tap so we can t turn it off once we get prime and then yeah we just open the open the tap on the um, you know the hand primer so the It'll bleed the water, air out and we'll get water out of there in a minute. So I'll, I'll start this um, pump up and and then yeah, once we get water, we'll fire this thing up. Hopefully it won't take too long. around here, we'll try and get this going. Because this this irrigator doesn't do a full circle, it comes round. We've got a row of trees there, so we've got we've got an auto stop in. Um, it'll stop with the GPS. We've just entered that in previously. Um, 
So we press run and the motor just loaded up a little bit. Should be able to see the light flashing. The light, when the light's flashing, it's telling us it's walking. Um, and then if we click this bottom one on, um, we can, then I can control it off my phone. So that should be on too. Anyway, that's all right. So we should, should be right. Um, and yeah, we'll just keep an eye on it. And, and uh, yeah, so the water rate coming out of the sprinkler doesn't actually change. Um, it's the it alters the speed like the the computer in the box there it alters the speed of how quickly it walks so that's how it um, changes the water rate so you know if it's um, only if we're only putting sort of 10 mil I think 8 mils the quickest it'll it'll go um, so it'll, it'll walk this full circle in 24 hours um, at 8 mil um, so yeah you can sort of work that work that out for 20 mil it's essentially two days or something like that um, a little bit more so anyway but we should have enough water in the dam now to, to get it finished and what I might actually do I might water order water again um, when it gets close to the close to finishing maybe even for the morning and um, we'll send it back back around the other way again um, just to give this stuff um, yeah a, a good drink um, we're just essentially we're just watering off recycled water at the moment um, but yeah it's it hasn't really done moved a hell of a lot yet to loosen so there's the odd plant starting to starting to shoot shoot leaves again but um we're going to want this to to graze um because of sort of unless we get another shower of rain um yeah the sort of the dry land loosens sort of come to a bit of a standstill um we've still got one paddock up our sleeve which will we'll move the lambs onto it in the morning we're going to have a draft up in the morning it's got some of our old lambs of our old lambs that are our own that we bred ourselves we're gonna there's about 50 or 60 of them running with the trade lambs so we're just gonna um, hang on. we're just gonna draft them out and just send them to for the market in Corowa so um, yeah I don't think I'll get up don't think I'll get to the market what's going on and uh, but anyway we'll, we'll get up there one day and show you how it works so anyway uh, yeah that's starting the irrigator uh, yeah we might, uh, that might nearly do for this one. There's a bit to happen in the next few days, so um, yeah, rather than making them too long and uh, you're all <laughs> losing interest halfway through. Uh, yeah, anyway, thanks again. We'll catch you on the next one. Ta da!